there's really nothing out there that's quite as versatile as the Viper and the sheer amount of exercises that we've created with it. Another thing it's good for is using it in CrossFit exercises. So what I'm going to show you right now is using the Viper and how it would be very similar to a clean to a thruster. But the way we're going to use the Viper, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than doing a work with a barbell. Also, how much it's going to excite the nervous system and challenge your balance and stabilization as you bring it through this range of motion. So like I said, it's going to be similar to a clean to a thruster, but we're, what we're going to do is a cylinder lift to a front squat to overhead stabilization. So the first thing I'm going to do is position myself on the Viper. I'm going to lift it up. Once I've got it all the way up to I'm got it at the bottom of the tube, then I'm going to hit a front squat, come up about halfway out of that front squat. That's when I'm going to start to bring the Viper all the way overhead. And you're going to see how much work I have to do with a 12 kilo Viper to keep that stabilized as I'm bringing that overhead. We can usually get it up in about two lifts. So I've got it right here at the bottom. I'm going to hit my front squat. Crease of the hip is below the top of the knee. I'm keeping my weight on my heels. And then as I come up, bringing that all the way overhead where the elbows are locked, the Viper is totally perpendicular to the ground over the middle of my foot. And then I guide it back down to touch the ground. You want to be careful when you're guiding it back down you don't let it bounce back up towards your face. And if you do lose your balance at the top, just bail and get out from underneath it. Let it fall. It can handle the impact. But that's a great move. You try a couple reps of that, and you're going to be doing some serious work.